All right, Alabama hosting UL Monroe. Bama surviving against Texas might end up being the best thing for them. 15 penalties in that game, the most in the Saban era, and poor ULM coming in for the beatdown. <laughs> well, they're coming in for a beatdown. It's a gigantic spread, but it's one in which, look, the ULM gave – Nick Saban, a loss back when he first took over yeah, as head coach from Alabama. So I don't know if Nick Saban still thinks about that. But <laughs> the reality is you saw some flaws. I think one undisciplined play, as you point out, with all the penalties. But also, look, the lack of protection for Bryce Young. The Texas defense was harassing him throughout the game. We thought that was going to be the opposite of that game. And, and with Will uh, Anderson Jr. and Dallas Turner pressuring off the edge, that wasn't the case. The Alabama wide receivers had a hard time getting open. I know they're going to have an easier time getting over versus ULM, but the reality is I think there's some things you can take away scheme-wise and apply now moving forward. So this is one where it's just too big of a spread. Alabama's going to win this thing, and it may even be close to the 40.5 points, but after what I saw last week, I need to see a rebound. I need to see some sort of response to feel better about where Alabama is at because right now it looks like, Danny, they've got some flaws or at least got some holes within their offensive production and ability to create a big play. No doubt about it. Terry Bowden, son of Bobby Bowden, is going to take the Warhawks in there. He's going to get the cover. I'm with you on this one. <laughs> I think this one will be inside the number. I wasn't going to go that bold. I wasn't going to go that bold. Uh, but I think this is a massive number. And I also think Bama's the type of program, they don't need any style points. They don't need any Heisman campaigns because you're going to, you know, there's another big spread I might take the other side on coming up. But they just, this is almost like a bye week for them where they're going to try to correct all those mistakes. And it's a good week for Nick Saban to get after his team, which was the most undisciplined performance out of a Crimson Tide team that I've seen maybe in Nick Saban's tenure on that stage. I also think it was a very physical game against Texas, way more uh, physical than I think most people thought it was going to be. And they're a little bit banged up, a little bit nicked. So maybe you see those starters come out a little bit sooner after they get that very business business-like approach to this game, in hand, comfortable, take out some of your guys, rest them up. But I think in the end, that 48 and a half is just too much for me. So I'm taking the Warhawks as well. So Terry Bowden's team, 48 and a half point dogs against Nick Saban's team. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.